It's time to go, Sarah. It's your turn, so who would you like to give it to? Hands down, Ben. This week's definitely changed my views on some people. Nominations night live. Big Brother is going large tonight. A new round of nominations, a new superpower, and we meet a brand new housemate. That's right, my friends. An intruder will enter the house tonight. She's a smart, creative, exotic beauty. Someone the boys will no doubt love. The girls, maybe not so much. The housemates' heads are firmly in nominations mode, and the last thing that they're expecting tonight is a gate crasher. But first, how did they all feel when Sarah became the third person to be evicted from the house? <laughs> it's just scary. It's just weird. It's just so weird because this reminds you like every week that this is real. The housemates have spent a month living 24-7 with Sarah and tonight they've lost a friend. Well I done. I just thought that would be me. You're right. Well done. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're more popular than B right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. You right? Yeah, I'm fine. You smell good. Do I? Uh huh. Like man. <laughs> you, like man. <laughs> you look like man. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> Sarah's family photos are still above her bed. <sighs> Zoe and Stacy are shocked that it was Sarah who went. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That girl. I thought she was going to win. I th always thought she was going to win. She was winning. And I was so proud. I was happy with that. I was happy with her winning. Bradley has survived two nominations. Ray has survived one. Hey, big brother. Ray. Yes, big brother. Congratulations on surviving eviction. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was absolutely shocked. I thought that I was going to be evicted tonight and that I was going to go out to a crowd of people booing me and the complete opposite has happened. I've never been so happy. It's crazy. Given that there was some ongoing tension between yourself and Sarah, is it fair to say a part of you is relieved that Sarah was evicted tonight? The sad thing that's going on at the moment, whether people want to admit it or not, is that the group has been torn. There was a challenge in the last week that brought us back together, but I know personally I would take a walk from the kitchen to the bedroom and in the process I would always walk past two or three people that were whispering. I feel that Sarah was always in the group of two or three that were whispering. Now that Sarah is gone, I feel like there will be less whispering and I feel like it shows that group of people that, you know, other people are noticing. It's probably not a good trait to be going around and whispering behind each other's backs. Um, I hope that it just stops, to be honest. 
Bradley's escaped again, but this time he didn't have the comfort of being voted the most popular of the three nominees. But I'm slowly creeping down from the most saved, second most saved, third time could be a charm for the house and I might be going well, next week. You've made it through this week, that's pretty cool. Do you know what? Even if you do get, oh no, yeah. No, it doesn't matter, yeah. you've made it through this week, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Michael and Josh have begun speculating that after a month, there may be an intruder on the horizon. Oh, well, there's going to be an intruder, yeah. for sure. So I was chewing up carrots with you. I was chewing up I just, I think it would be a classic yeah. move on their behalf if they just put in an absolutely smoking hot chick. Because the girls in here would lose their minds over that. They're so jealous, aren't they? They would absolutely lose their mind, but nothing makes me happier than ignoring a smoker. Nothing makes me happier. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be able to help myself if it was just like a smoking hot babe. Because I know there'd be some of the girls in here that just wouldn't be able to handle it whatsoever. Oh no, you'd be fine. You'd be 100%. And Zoe would be 100% fine. Bradley. Big brother. How are you? Um, mixed emotions tonight after eviction i'm happy to be here but also saddened to know that sarah has gone home sarah was such a positive um, influence clearly the house dynamics have now changed so it'll be um you know interesting to see how the house carries on so it'll be very um intriguing so I'm happy, but I'm also a bit sad because we have to go through nominations. Correct, Bradley. Nominations and so many questions to ask. What is tonight's superpower? Who will be up for eviction? And what is a Trudy? Find out as Nominations Night Live continues. <laughs> Welcome back to Nominations Night Live. Now, Big Brother is the ultimate social experiment and the housemates have done well to withstand the pressure so far. They've held it together in the face of secret tasks, evictions, even a fake house. But contending with an intruder might just bring them to breaking point. Now, before we meet her, let's see what evictee Sarah had to say in her farewell message to the house. Aww. With that unlimited cap. You know what? Yeah. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> yeah. You know that, hey? Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, guys. If you're seeing this now, it means I've been evicted. Um, firstly, I'd really like to start with Benj. Um, ben, you're just a fantastic gentleman. And I think everyone in this house will never be the same from meeting you. You will go further in your life than even your dreams can imagine. Zoe, oh, the amazing selfless person that you are just rubs off onto other people, even though you think it may not. But one day I do hope that you learn to put yourself first because you are just this amazing spiritual person. Um, Ray Ray, Razor. Uh, your positive spirit, your positive attitude, it, you know, Tom Cruise. I don't think there's anything wrong with Tom Cruise and um, maybe Katie Holmes thinks so now. You put the winning spirit into everybody and don't lose that focus. Um, be here to win. Um, my stays stays. Um, we've been snuggle buddies and bed buddies um, and I've just loved every second of it. Um, Estelle. Well, Estelle, we've been on a journey and I think um, we can all agree that it's a journey we'll never take back and we just learn something new every five minutes. Um, my Angie. Oh, 21. And the experience of a 30 year old, you know, it's awesome. And never lose sight of your innocence. Sometimes I look at you, Angie, and think, oh, wow. You know, but when you're 30, I want you to be exactly the same as you are now. Um, well, Michael, I thought I was a smart girl, but I ain't got nothing on you. You are hysterical in so many ways. My little Bradley. Um, Bradley, this journey has just begun for you. 
I heard you say in some very recent moments that you didn't mind which way tonight goes. I mind because I would love to see you finish this. And you're a 19 year old with not many life lessons that you've learned previous to this, um, but you have just taken on board each and every lesson. A big message I wanna leave you all is just be yourselves, trust in yourselves. Don't second guess who you are because who you are is exactly who you need to be. I love you all and I miss you already. I was just so upset to hear a name being called out. Um, more upset than I would have been with the other two, I think. I've never had to deal with emotions like this before. She's like that um, older sister I never had. She's what I imagine my older sister would be like if I had one. Outside the diary room, Benjamin and Stacey have moved on. They're thinking about nominations and who will get the superpower this week. And then the nom hideous nom noms. <laughs> the hideous dance that we call nom nom. I really hope that she gives me that thing. Yeah, she will. Because I just, I can't talk about it, but if mm. I was to get it, I'd have plans with what I'd do with mm, it. Mm, mm. Yeah, she will. Yeah. Yeah. Relationships are already on tenterhook, so what will happen when the house opens its doors to a brand new beauty? <laughs> this is Nominations Night Live. Now, last week's threat of a second house simultaneously united and divided the housemates. It was the true believers versus the passionate sceptics. And there's every chance that little disagreement will spill over into nominations tonight. But right now, let's go back to the house where one of the housemates is about to be busted by Big Brother for conduct unbecoming. <laughs> Mate, couldn't grab it if I tried. This is Big Brother. Angie, a short while ago, you uttered five expletives in the space of two minutes. Oh, really? Despite repeated warnings, you continue to use <laughs> naughty words. <laughs> Angie, report to the naughty corner. Angie, Big Brother has lost his favourite needle. <laughs> it's somewhere in this haystack. <sighs> you must find it. You may not leave the naughty corner oh until God. Big Brother is satisfied. <laughs> oh, Angie, don't bail on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been checking the piles out. Where's the ventilation? You don't want to be the first one to leave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Big brother, I can't find this <laughs> needle. Because I'm losing all the hype. Say good night. Night night. Here you going. I feel bad for her. Yeah, well, I'd feel bad for myself if I've had to watch it, so. Surely. Josh has spent a lot of time with Angie in recent weeks, but now that she's started to argue with Estelle, he started to pull back. Have fun cleaning this up. <laughs> Her banishment to the naughty corner gives him the chance to vent his feelings about the girl who's been his snuggle buddy from the start. <laughs> yeah. It's it's Angie's deal. someone that I'd <laughs> never, <laughs> ever, ever <laughs> even <laughs> go for. I know. Yeah. 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 
You're irritating everyone by not finding it, and nom noms are coming up, so. <laughs> Michael, There's look bugs. at me. Alright. No, baby Bye girl. Night. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> Mayna, come on! Yeah. Big brother. Big brother. Yes, Angie. I need to go to the toilet. You may leave the naughty corner. However, Big Brother is far from satisfied. <laughs> and your punishment is not over. This will be dealt with later. Oh. That is all. Big Brother, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nominations get underway right after this. Benjamin will get his shiny new superpower to play with, and the other housemates will get nothing but a grilling in the chamber. And remember, after nominations, we meet the intruder. I certainly don't do things by halves. You just live each day to the fullest, and I just attack it and just try to take fear out of the equation. When I'm out, my friends tease me about the attention that I get from guys because I'm completely oblivious to it. I am rather flirty. If true love found me in the house, I definitely wouldn't be averse to it. Last week, under the cover of darkness, Big Brother revealed the nomination's superpower. Bestowed upon a single person by the last evicted housemate, the superpower is the ultimate nomination advantage. But it was a heavy burden for the first housemate it was given to. Estelle. No! Don't do this to me, Ryan! Estelle's superpower was to view the tally board before she nominated. You now know who is in danger of being up for eviction this week. God. The weight of responsibility lay heavy on Estelle's shoulders. You're giving me this much power, big brother. Estelle used her power wisely. The ones that I thought were closest to me are hurting me the most. Estelle's superpower saved her from being nominated last week, but she can't help thinking what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. This week, there's a different superpower. What will it be? Who will have it? How will they use it? Only one thing is certain. Nominations is where heroes are made. Holy superpower, Batman. Nominations Night Live is about to explode. Wielding tonight's superpower could be both a burden and a benefit. Although something tells me Benjamin is going to love it. The Big Brother rules strictly forbid discussing nominations, but certain cliques have somehow been nominating exactly the same people. Now, whether by psychic power or pure fluke, some of our chummy housemates are definitely on the same nominations wavelength. There's a little bit of a popular group forming in the house. Now it really seems like there's this us versus them mentality. Tom Cruise, oh my god. It was like he was a different person for the first couple of days and then his true self came out. I can't look at him in the eyes. Is that I'm really trying to make Sarah got really upset after she was nominated. Why are you so shocked by this? You should have known this was going to happen three days ago when we had that fight. But her being so positive is actually annoying me now. I've got to nominate Sarah. How um, was the talk with Sarah? Other people had gone back to her and kind of said that I would said things which really hurt me, but it just seems like people want to they want to use that against yeah, me. Yeah, they want to use that against you. Four points. I'm nominating Sarah. Sarah. Being a bit of a floater, I guess. There's people in here that you would naturally associate with and then there's others in here that you wouldn't. Four points, so I nominate Stell. Layla for one point. I feel like I can have this opinion with you because you're not going to be persuaded by anything I say. We get a feeling, Brad, that's what we're thinking. For Bradley, he needs to know that saying a smart comment to make you boys laugh is not appropriate. Uh, one quick point, point to my name, Bradley. 
Round one of the nominations about is due to commence shortly. So let's cross live to the house where the housemates are getting ready to rumble. Now, you guys know that we need to keep quiet. Yeah? Okay. Let's go over. Hi, Hi housemates. Hi. How are you? Yeah. All right, now Sarah left last night. There's only 11 of you now. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Zoe, are you okay? You seemed a little bit upset last night. Is it different without Sarah in the house? Yeah, it's not much fun. Um, um, no, I really love Sarah. She became like a big sister to me, taught me a lot about myself and about other things. And so her leaving um, actually put me into extreme shock and I just burst out in tears. It never happens to me, so I don't know what happened. Are you okay now? Yeah, I spoke to me, brother, so I'm good now. All right. Well, tonight is nominations, and I have noticed, housemates, that some of you are still nominating like this. <laughs> Anyone got the guts not to cover their mouth tonight? Nope. Oh, a few hands. <laughs> but is anybody actually trying to lip read? No. 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 So it doesn't no. matter then, does we it? We don't want to no. know. <laughs> we don't want to know. Layla, Layla, what is it that makes you so apprehensive about nominations night? Oh, it's just a bad start to the week. Like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, yeah, we'll say something negative and have fun. No, it just doesn't work. No. <laughs> and Estelle, you had the superpower last week. Yes. What do you think the odds are of you getting it again tonight? Oh, minimal. <laughs> Pretty slim? <laughs> All right. Well, we're about to no. find out who has the superpower. And then you will start your nominations. Good luck, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 She spoke to me. Yeah. 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 Oh, so this is Big Brother. Housemates, it's time to nominate. Once again, one of you will be handed the nominations superpower. However, this week, there is a new superpower. The advantage is just as great. It could be what stands between you and eviction. The holder of tonight's superpower has already been decided. Take a look. Hi, housemates. I may have been evicted tonight, but I still get a say on who gets the superpower. And it goes to someone who is very deserving and someone who I know will use it very wisely. And that person is... Dun, 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 dun. Benjamin. Yeah. Love you guys. Benjamin, you have the superpower this week. Remain in the lounge. Oh. All other housemates to the nominations room now. Benjamin. Yes, Big Brother. Big Brother will reveal your superpower now, so you have time to decide how you will use it. This week, you have double the power of your fellow housemates. You will be nominating not once, but twice. This means, instead of having five points to nominate two housemates like everyone else, you will have 10 points to nominate four different housemates. You must still nominate using the same points system. You will not see the tally board. Do you understand? Yes, Big Brother. Benjamin, your nominations could have a huge impact on who is up for eviction. Do not say anything to your fellow housemates. No. Go to the nominations room now. Oh, is he happy? I don't know. Is he excited? I think he is. He's a little bit excited. He's been given twice the power of everyone else. It's a frightening concept. But in the end, every point does damage. And Michael is the first to pull the trigger tonight. Let's see, let's see who he targets. Michael, step into the chamber. Michael, is the superpower in safe hands with Benjamin tonight? 
It most certainly is, because he is an excellent person and a good judge of character. You sound sincere. Michael, you have five points to nominate two of your fellow housemates. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? Uh, for two points of nomination, I nominate um, Estelle. Um, Estelle has gradually drifted away from reality and her inability to co converse normally with the group is just holding back so many conversations and her constant, I guess, childish outbursts sort of seem to detract from anything, uh, I guess, intelligent. <laughs> Give an example, Michael, quickly. Um, I was talking to her about how, um, uh, how we're presented in the outside world and she put some lavender up her nose and said meow. Fair enough. Your nomination is accepted. You have three points remaining. Um, Who do you nominate and why? For three points for nomination, I um, am nominating uh, Ray. Uh, love the dude, but again, it all comes down to what I'm getting out of the house. And as much as he's helping people work out and he's looking out for our protein requirements, I, I, I'm just not getting what I want from the other housemates from him. Um, he seems a little bit lackluster in conversation. He doesn't seem to step out of his comfort zone too often and um, I just don't find him super interesting. Accepted. Stacy, to the chamber. <laughs> Stacy. Hello. Nominate now. Um, for three points I'd like to nominate Ray, um, simply because I think that he is playing the game massively. Um, I think that he's using Bradley as a bit of a decoy into tricking that he's a really nice guy but he says funny things and he still holds a lot of arrogance in a lot of sort of his actions um, and that's why I want to nominate him. What do you mean, he's using Bradley? I just think that he's sort of like, he's sort of always taking Bradley and making Bradley say funny things and I just feel that he's using Bradley as like an asset to turning him into a mean person as well and then turning him all the games. Are you stuff. accusing Ray of being a puppeteer and Bradley his marionette? Yeah, that. Stacey, that is a bizarre nomination, but it is accepted. Thanks. You have two points remaining. Who do you um, nominate and why? Um, for two points, I'd like to nominate Andy. Um, this is a really hard decision for me to make, but I felt that last week when we were doing the whole house two thing that wasn't really that real, we tried to um, trick ourselves into thinking it was real so we could sort of unite as a team a little bit more um, and she just didn't have a bar of that and I thought that that was a bit of a um, weak way into sort of playing the games and also uh, all the challenges, she just didn't um, seem that she was into it and I felt that she was quite bratty in some retrospects um, and just sometimes I find her quite moody and I don't know how to read her sometimes. Accepted. That is all. Thank you. Ooh, interesting. Because Stacey has never nominated Angie before. So we could be in for a night of first. We have a double shot superpower with an intruder chaser still to come. <laughs> This week, Layla heard something she wasn't meant to. If we get back together, let's say after this, whatever, she can stay home with the kids and that would be the best setup. That George still has plans for his ex. But like a man who knows he's in trouble, George showered Layla with gifts, which only confused matters more. Nah. No, it's him. Excuse me. And now her best friend is warning her off him. I just want you to be really careful. What will Layla do? 
right in the middle of nominations night live. So the George and Layla saga continues. Will George's reaction to the intruder write yet another awkward chapter in their story? Last week, they both nominated Bradley, but what will they do tonight? George. Hey, big brother. Nominate now. Yep, um, I pick, uh, first one will be Andy for three votes. Just for her lack of care of around the house. Uh, we just would, um, when she does, leaves everything behind and we all have to clean up after her. And my second one will be... Uh, George. Yep. Have you spoken to Angie about this lazy behaviour? No. Why not? I can't be bothered. <laughs> Big Brother cannot be bothered to accept your nomination unless you come up with a valid reason, George. All right, um, oh, I just don't, I don't know, just because if I do it, because he's very, like, she's very argumentative, and I don't know if she has that argument with me, she would smash me with an argument, so I just can't be bothered listening to an argument and just rather keep the peace instead. Big Brother will help you, George. You're nominating Angie because you have to clean up after her and it's affecting your time in the house. Yes. Yep, so I'm nominating Angie for three points because of her laziness and I feel like I'm always cleaning up after her in my time in the house and it's affecting um, my time here. Accepted. Big Brother will not chew to you next time, George. All right, Big Brother. You have two points remaining. Yeah, um, the other two points will be going to uh, Young Bradley again and that will be for just every time I ask him to do something, he seems to give me a smart comment back and uh, just getting annoying now and I'm just trying to help him out, but yeah. <laughs> Apologies, George. Big Brother didn't want to give you a smart comment back. <laughs> Accepted. All right, cheers. Layla, to the chamber. <laughs> Layla. Yes, my brother? It's time to nominate. Yeah. You may begin. Okay, for four points, I want to nominate Estelle. Um, there's still a massive wall that I can't break down when it comes to forming a relationship with her, which I feel really bad because she's an amazing girl. And there's quite a few rifts forming in the house because of her, which I feel awkward to be around in the situation. Um, there's just too much going How on. How is Estelle to blame for the rifts and what are they? Oh, just um, since Ryan's been gone, um, I don't think she knows she's doing it, but she's uh, kind of, oh, I don't know what the word to use, uh, she's kind of like pushing Angie out of situations that she feels most comfortable in and which she's my first um, felt most confident of being around since day one, so it's hard for me to see Andrew upset because she's... Layla, Big Brother will accept your nomination. However, Big Brother reminds you, you're not nominating for Angie, you're nominating for yourself. Oh. You have one point remaining. Um, my one point I want to give to Bradley. He hasn't been, last night wasn't very nice when um, Sarah got evicted. He said a few comments in the house that once again carries on from last week, why I originally nominated him. Um, it, Such as? Just, um, he said when she left, oh, do you know, just heartless, <laughs> I can't remember it word for word and I don't want to get it wrong. Um, he said... Oh, sorry, it's just because I'm on the spot and I'm getting all hot and flustered. So it's Big Brother. Sorry. Um, so basically, um, Sarah's leaving was a massive blow to everybody in the house. It was unexpected and 
there should have been a few comforting words towards everybody involved, who was upset, etc, etc. And Bradley's just been around the house again all week, just saying sarcastic comments to people and... Accepted. Josh, to the chamber. Josh, yes. nominate now. Okay, this week for three points I choose to nominate Ray. Um, Ray's a very competitive person um, and um, I find this to be quite an overpowering um, personality trait of Ray's. I feel like I'm, um, I'm a very laid back person um, and I feel very confronted uh, with Ray's competitive nature and always turning everything into a, a mini competition. Josh, you do realise Big Brother is a competition? I do realise that, Big Brother. Um, I understand it is an overall competition, but um, sometimes just uh, minim minimal things, even uh, with things around the kitchen, doesn't necessarily have to be turned into a competition, and I find Rafe um, does uh, turn pretty much everything uh, he goes about into a competition. Accepted. You have two points remaining. Okay, for two points this week, um, unfortunately, uh, I nominate Bradley. Um, I find myself having to prompt Brad to do a lot, um, especially when it comes to kitchen duties. Um, the less that gets done by him, uh, it leaves more for everyone else to do, including myself. Um, We've been here for four weeks now. Um, I know he's young and I know he hasn't been in, in situations like this before, but um, I feel he, he's been here long enough now to, yeah, we shouldn't have to prompt him to do things. Accepted. Thank you, Josh. Thanks. Ray, to the chamber. Cheers, Josh. Ray, welcome back. Thanks, big brother. You may nominate now. Okay, big brother, I'm going to give four points to Angie. Uh, this week she has been pretty heavy on eating all the chocolate and now we've run out of chocolate and I see that she's eyeing off some of the higher protein foods which is upsetting me. Um, she also hasn't been pulling her weight in terms of cooking, cleaning, things like that. Uh, for the remaining... Ray, yes? was Angie the only housemate to steal chocolate? Uh, no, but I've seen her do it on multiple occasions. I've also seen her hiding beer and things like that as well, so uh, it's stand out. You do love your chocolate, don't you, Ray? I don't. I love my chocolate milk, uh, but yeah, I love my protein, so the fact that she's now looking at tuna and steak and things like that is upsetting me a bit. Accepted. Accepted, fantastic. You have one point remaining. Uh, for the one point remaining, I'm going to say then. Uh, the reason being is because every time I walk past him, I can see him whispering to other people and he never whispers to me so I figure that it's possibly about me and strategy would tell me that it's probably best that I put a vote his way. Now I could be completely wrong and so I've given him just one vote. Uh, if I am wrong and there's a surprise party for me then yeah, I'll feel sorry after this but there's just one, one point, it won't hurt. Interesting. Ray, your nomination is accepted. Okay, thank you, big brother. That is all. Cheers. Oh, that's very interesting, isn't it? Ray is very protective of his protein. Have you noticed? God help anybody who goes near the egg whites. That's all I can say. <laughs> now, let's have a look at the tally board. In the red zone, Angie and Ray both on nine points. And Estelle uh, Bradley has also been nominated. He's a bit of a magnet for nominations points tonight. Will he attract more when Benjamin charges up his nomination superpower? We'll find out right after this. Clearly, I do rumple a few of the housemates' feathers. I just think it's so disrespectful. But we're going to clean it. It's cake, man. We'll clean it. Bradley. What? Come on, wash your bowl. Bradley, shut up. Shut up, Bradley! Shut up, Bradley. Oh, don't tell what to do, George.
people are getting cranky, I'm getting bitchy. Every time I look at him now, I feel an absolute surge of not hatred, but I'm just like, why are you here? At meals, he burps all the time. Bradley, why are you burping so much? He's like, oh, do I? I didn't notice. He's like, I oh, do. Shut up. Estelle gets upset every time she's told to do something. Thinks that people are picking on her. We're not. It's because she can't get for herself to have to be told. Nominations Night Live is back. Tonight's intruder is waiting in lockdown and can't see the nominations. Lucky for her because Zoe seems set to detonate. Zoe, yes, nominate sir. now. <coughs> okay. Uh, for three points, I'd like to nominate Estelle. And that is because uh, she's still a pain. Um, she still doesn't uh, listen to anyone else, wants her opinion. Um, she mistakes, she tends to mistake her opinion, uh, like for, like she tends to say her opinion, she thinks it's intelligent, but really it's just um, a nothing comment. Sometimes I think she talks just to hear herself speak. Isn't the Big Brother experience all about different opinions, Zoe? Yes, it is. Um, but I believe in listening to one's opinion and then having another one's opinion and not throwing back in the face, and that's what I feel she does. You're basically saying you're right and Estelle is wrong. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what I would like is for her to hear my side of things as well as when I listen to her side of things. Like I listen to hers, I take it upon, you know, take it in. I, you know, appreciate her opinion. I find that she doesn't do the same. Accept it. You have two points remaining. Yep, and for two points I'd like to nominate Ray. Uh, and that is uh, purposely because I think he's playing the game. Um, I believe he is targeting certain people um, to get close to, to um, stay in this game. I don't believe he's been his true self. Um, I find the aggressive side of him is his true side, which isn't always a positive, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I think he's playing the game and he's doing it well. Newsflash, Zoe. You're all playing a game. No, yeah, I know that but he is actually, I don't find he's been himself. I find that he- Accepted. Okay. Bradley, step into the chamber. Me. Bradley, it's time to nominate. Yep. For three points, I nominate Ben. The past week as head of house, I felt he was a bit too assertive and powerful uh, to myself and to other housemates. I thought he returned to the kind of person who threw, threw the cup at me and uh, it caused me to feel uncomfortable at some times. Have you discussed this with Benjamin? Um, not really, I, because uh, I think the housemates saw it as quite a uh, good thing because, you know, um, uh, you know uh, it encourages to do well, but to me, I felt it was a bit excessive at times. Bradley, if any housemate ever makes you feel uncomfortable, you should discuss it with them. Okay. Your nomination is accepted. You have two points remaining. After two points, I go to Stacey. Um, I found that she is quite fun and stuff, but um, I think uh, you know um, uh, if a conversation turns to a serious topic, she will shut down and will avoid the conversation to a to um, you know, sort of, you know, to then not get uh, tangled up in a topic which could cause a debate to be formed and could portray her in a bad light. So you're nominating her for being too fun and stuff. No, um, she, she um, is fun and all that, but then when it comes time to have a debate, she just sort of shuts off and will Accept not participate it. in the discussion. Okay. That is all. Okay. Benjamin, <coughs> you are the holder of this week's superpower. <laughs> Go to the diary room.
Benjamin. Hi, big brother. As the holder of the nomination superpower, tonight you will nominate twice. Correct. You must use the same point system as normal. That means nominating two people each time for either three and two points or four and one. This gives you a significant advantage over your fellow housemates. It's time for your first set of nominations. You have five points to nominate two housemates. Who do you nominate first for how many points and why? I nominate, <coughs> sorry, I nominate Estelle for four points. I find that her behaviour in the house at times can be quite reckless. Um, I and um, close friends of mine in the house have gone to her to explain things to help her in a way and she's taken that information in the wrong way and um, I find that that reckless behaviour of not really understanding it and misinterpreting it then backlashes on people which can affect my time here and can affect other people. Have you considered that perhaps Estelle may not need your help? Uh, I just find that in general, um, because even though she might not need my help, she's not listening to really any advice that anyone wants to give her, good or bad, and I don't particularly find that a good trait in someone. Accepted. You have one point remaining in your first set of nominations. Who do you um, nominate and why? I nominate Ray for one point. Uh, I nominate Ray um, because I felt as though his behaviour in a certain situations has been aggressive and although um, he can apologise, you don't seem to forget what actually has been done and this proves to be quite difficult to forgive and forget. So I nominate him for one point just based on that aggressive behaviour. Have you ever felt threatened by Ray's behaviour, Benjamin? Yes, I have. When? Um, there was a particular incident where there was a dancing competition and I saw him being aggressive with another housemate. I was afraid that he would then do the same thing to me and since that particular time I distanced myself from any, t any, any chance where Ray's um, overexcited behaviour might put me in a threatening situation. Accepted. Benjamin, your first nominations are complete. You now have a short time to consider your second nominations. Ooh, okay, so Benjamin gave Estelle four points, so she's rocketed to the top of the red zone. He will get a second chance to nominate after the break. Who will be in trouble when Ben does the dirty double and our intruder gets set to storm the house after this? Welcome back. This is the beating heart of Nominations Night Live. Our intruder is on standby. Only three nominations to go before we meet her. Now, Benjamin has reloaded. He is ready to fire again from the cover of the diary room. Benjamin. Yes, Peter. It's time for your second set of nominations. You have already nominated Estelle and Ray. You may not nominate them again. You have another five points. Who do you nominate first, for how many points, and why? Uh, I nominate Bradley for four points. Uh, I've tried on uh, every week to get close to him in a particular way, and he treats me very differently to the rest of the housemates. Um, I'm not too sure why he treats me differently, but um, that general feeling is hard for me to understand, on top of the comments that he makes about the girls continuously. One of the girls who was trying to look, you know, treat him quite nicely and look after him, you know, behind her back was quite, um, uh, could be a little bit perverse with the way he described her and that to me was not a strong quality in a housemate and it doesn't bode well with me. Accepted. You have one point remaining. Uh, my last point goes to Angie. Uh, whilst I love Angie to pieces, she, uh, I'm only giving her this one point on the basis that she referred to her having a place in the house that she was worried Estelle would take. And whilst I think that's just, I mean, I just think that's just crazy to see that there's a hierarchy in the house. To me, I want the house to be seen as an open playing field where everyone can be friends. And with her determining that makes me believe there's a um, unpopularity group and I think in that type of behaviour, she could be blocking other housemates from reaching 
um, their potential and their best. Um, so I feel like that one point, um, unfortunately, is appropriate to hand to um, Angie. Are you in the popular group, Benjamin? I don't believe there is a popular group. There is no popular group. Couldn't you just say there was one and you were in it? No, there is no popular group. I'm not in a popular group. I see the house as um, an open playing field for everyone. But I, I believe that if someone develops the notion that there is a popular group, that isn't something that I'm interested in. I think that's unfair to other housemates and I don't believe that's a great system in us all getting along as a house. Accepted. Your nominations are complete. You have used your superpower. Benjamin, Big Brother reminds you that you already have one strike for discussing nominations. If you allude to or intimate in any way who you think nominated you or anyone else, then you will receive another strike. Three strikes and you're out. Do you understand? Yes, I understand that, Big Brother. Remain in the diary room until further notice. Ooh, okay, so Benjamin will have to be very careful. He likes to think of himself as a man of power and influence, so no doubt Benjamin relished using the superpower. I'm going to ask him about it, so we just have to keep nice and quiet. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Sonia, how are you? <laughs> Tina Sparkle. Hi. Now, you just used your superpower, and I want to know, did you enjoy it? Um, I didn't, no. I found it to be a bit stressful because I think I, uh, Sarah taught me a very valuable lesson in being in the house and that is for me to love all housemates equally and having twice the amount of energy to put into this nomination is a negative effect on me and I just feel really upset by having to divide such an enormous amount of points to these people. Mm -hmm. And I know that, I'm so sorry, Sonia, I know Australia must be thinking, oh, you know, that's a bit soppy, but... It's okay, it's, it's, it's hard, but there are also advantages. What was the best thing about being able to nominate twice? Um, I felt like I could split my mind in a certain way to what I think was right, and then what I thought might have been right for someone who left last night. Do you, do you see yourself as being a bit of a strategist, Ben? No, I'm a believer in just trusting my own, my, my own abilities and I think it's important to believe in myself and I think that going with that instinct is where I need to be, not strategising because it just makes it much harder. Yeah, alright. Well, only two people are left to nominate. Do you think they'll do anything surprising? Um, look, I just really hope they don't nominate me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have to go because Angie is in the chamber. She's ready to nominate Benjamin. Good luck. I'll okay, talk to you soon. You. What okay. a lovely blouse you're wearing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Angie. Hi, big brother. Nominate now. Um, for three points, I'd like to nominate Estelle. Um, the reason I'd like to do this is because um, it's become apparent, I think, to me that um, there's certain people playing the game and I feel like her behaviour this week has um, shown to me that she is playing the game. Um, it seems towards the start of the week she was quite standoffish and then coming up to nominations day um, she's been quite clingy, um, doing things out of the ordinary um, that have made me think that. What kind of things? Um, for instance, uh, usually she would be off doing her own things, um, wouldn't, wouldn't hang around me too much um, in the weeks before, um, and then things like when I was in the tree today, she was by my side the whole time. Um, it just seems to me like people don't change overnight, um, and in a game like this it just makes me think that she might not be being completely honest to herself and myself because she is playing the game, um, and that doesn't sit well with me. Okay, let's talk about honesty. Would you be happier in a house without her? Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm nominating her. Accepted. You have two points remaining. Okay, for two points, I'll nominate Ro. Um, for similar things, uh, I feel like he's probably playing the game as well. Um, it was brought to my attention that um, in my eyes, I thought he was really into Zoe. Um, and since 
Um, and, and, and it's become apparent that he's not actually into her, he's actually just doing it in group situations, which makes me think he's also playing the game. Um, and again, I don't sit well with um, living with people who are playing the game if I think that it's um, because they're not being honest with me and with themselves. Accepted. Thanks, big brother. Estelle, to the chamber. <laughs> Estelle. Big brother! <laughs> Nominate now. Uh, for two points, I nominate Zoe because every single creature I try to save, she wants to kill. Um, I really like her, but I think if she can be cruel to animals, she's maybe you know capable of also being mean to people behind their back. That's stretching somewhat of a long bow, Estelle. Yes, big brother. I can give you an example. Go ahead. Um, it relates to the next person I nominate as well, in that she'll sit at the table and act as if she's very interested in something and then give quite sly, horrible looks to people across the table about the person that's speaking. Accepted. You have three points remaining. Oh, OK. Um, for three points, I nominate Stacy for a similar reason because she's hilarious, but I think the joke should not be at the expense of. Oh, I should look ahead, right? Um, joke should not be at the expense of other people, and she's done that a number of times, which I can see hurt those people, and I think it's just. Have any of these jokes been at your expense, Estelle? Um, yes, but that's not my reason for nomination. What she's done with Brian Bradley, Bradley a number of times is, um, it's too much. Why are you nominating on Bradley's behalf? Because I can see if she's willing to do it to Bradley or to Ray, she's capable of doing it to anyone. Because I care for them. Accepted. That is all. OK, thanks. God, don't look straight ahead. Housemates, nominations are over. All housemates to the lounge. Oh, this is what it's like. It says look straight ahead. I'm looking at it. That was interesting. I don't think Zoe's been nominated before. Has she? Certainly not by Estelle, I don't think. It's a pretty straightforward equation. 11 very strong voices plus one superpower equals doom and gloom for our unlucky nominees. Estelle, Ray and Angie are about to face a week of uncertainty being up for eviction, although it's not the first time for either Ray or Estelle. So let's cross live to the house where Big Brother is set to fess up about Benjamin's superpower and give the new nominees the bad news. I think I've actually had three. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates, as you know, Benjamin was the holder of this week's superpower. Big Brother will now reveal what that power was. Benjamin nominated twice. He had a total of 10 points to nominate four different housemates. Benjamin did not see the tally board or receive any other information regarding nominations. Do not ask him any questions about his nominations. He is forbidden to discuss it. Big Brother is now going to reveal the housemates up for eviction and the number of nomination points they received tonight. <coughs> The housemates up for eviction are on 16 points Estelle. Rather stand for something than nothing. On 14 points Ray. At least you can cook. <laughs> and with 10 points. Angie. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not Jesus. say that. Estelle. Yo. Ray. Angie. Yeah. Next week, one of you will be evicted from the Big Brother house. That is all. Again. Thanks, oh. Big Brother. Oh, bizarre. I was wondering how they were all sitting together. That was weird. Now, as the housemates stew on the latest news, Big Brother has another shock on the menu tonight. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Big Brother 2012 has a brand new housemate. You can applaud. She's gorgeous, she's smart, she's single. Could she be the perfect woman? A self-proclaimed social butterfly with more sass than a soda stream. Please welcome Ava. Now, you are obviously here to shake things up in the house. Oh, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm in it for a good time. Yeah. You, you've had the advantage of watching everybody from the outside. Yeah. How, are you going in with a, a plan to win people over? I think the plan for me is to have no plan at all. Um, that way I can just be myself and, and get to know everybody and, and just have a good time. I'm in it for a good experience. Do you, so. think, do you think there are any tough nuts? though, in the house, that you'll have to work a bit harder to crack? It's, it's really hard. Sorry? Oh, the audience has got a few, I think. <laughs> but you tell me what to say. Um, it's, it's a little hard to kind of gauge um, how people are at this stage. I'm really interested and intrigued to meet everybody um, face to face and, and see who I like and get on with. And, and you're a singer? I am, yes. They've been doing some singing in the house. No way. Yeah, oats a la Leila. <laughs> oats a la... Everyone knows that one. All right, I'll have to learn the words yeah. to it and, yeah, okay. sing along. All right. Now, you're single. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, do you think there might be somebody in the house from a male perspective that you like the look of? Oh, do you, you want me to say I like somebody? Is that no. what you want me to no, say? No, no, no. I'm just wondering, <laughs> is there anyone that you like? So <laughs> Bradley. You can't do everything they tell you to do. <laughs> no, um, no, I don't. I don't really take a liking to anyone in particular at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to meet them and, and see see how I feel. But yeah. okay, and you've got you've got a communications degree. So, yeah. do you think you'll be able to take the brainiacs in the house on? Um, hopefully, I'll be able to communicate with them well, um, <laughs> or else I'm in trouble. But. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I think I'll get on with everyone pretty well and, yeah, I hope for the best. All right. Well, look, we wish you the best of luck in there. Thank you. And, uh, you know, we'll be watching. Yeah, we wish her you. well, everyone. Remember, you can't, don't tell them anything from the outside. No, I lied, I promise. All right. See you the All right. There she is, Ava. What will Ava think when she enters the Big Brother house? We're going to find out right after this. Yeah. Girls can be a little bit catty. My parents in the house could cause a big stir. They do appear a little bit clicky. They may be a bit threatened by me. Angie might be one that's hard to win over. She seems rather forthright. She's a strong character and I'm a strong character. Of all the housemates, I'm looking forward to meet uh, Layla. She seems really genuine and I'm a sucker for a cute accent. I love to engage with people, whether it's a, a guy or a girl, so I'm, I'm quite social. My ultimate guy is a blokey bloke, no frills, smart, witty, has to make me laugh, and he definitely has to be a looker. <laughs> Sorry Bradley, you're not my type. 
Welcome back to your nominations night live. Now, Estelle, Ray and Angie are up for eviction, but more importantly right now, there's an intruder ready to enter the house. Now, intruders are an integral part of the Big Brother experience. Just one is all it takes to change the landscape completely. The housemates have no idea that the intruder is on her way, but that hasn't stopped them from speculating. I don't want intruders. Nah. Don't want them. Oh, they're gonna come. I'm pretty keen for an intruder. Someone to come in here and like shake it up a bit. Wouldn't you hate to come in as an intruder? I had this image if he was my perfect dream of a man. Been hanging out for an intruder. Some fresh meat or something. Big brother, is it the possibility that we're gonna get an intruder? Anything is possible. Ooh! That will suck for me, but Lila will give me a smack down. <laughs> Ava has landed. She will now set foot on terra firma. This is one small step for Ava, but a giant leap for Big Brother Kind. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Oh, how sweet. Sweet. Oh, just for me. Mm. Oh my goodness, I feel so spoiled. Wow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> Very nice. Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, hello. <laughs> that has my name on it. Mm. Mm. What have we here? Okay. Please read the following out loud. Okay, big brother. Ava, welcome to the captain's quarters. Feel free to take full advantage of all the luxuries and facilities in here as they will not last for long, big brother. Oh, thanks, big brother. I feel like I'm talking <laughs> Ava looks like she's settling in just fine. I wonder if the housemates will be fine when they discover she's there. For now, all they're worried about is the next eviction and the possibility of Estelle, Ray or Angie going home. It's up to you to save your favourite and keep them in the house. You can vote by calling, texting or going online to the official Big Brother Australia Facebook page. Lines open at 9.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight and here are the numbers you need. To save Angie, call 1902 559501, SMS Angie to 199 555 or vote on Facebook. To save Estelle, call 1902 559505, SMS Estelle to 199 555 or vote on Facebook. To save Ray, call 1902 559510, SMS Ray to 199 555 or vote on Facebook. Tonight on Big Brother, you'll see the full intruder action unfold. Big Brother has a wicked plan. He's going to handpick just one male housemate to meet Ava for the first time alone in the captain's quarters. Who will it be? And how will they react to the intruder? The house will never be the same again. Don't miss tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And remember to cast your votes after 9.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight. I'm Sonia Kruger. See you next time. <laughs> Dream World, the home of Big Brother.